I bought the weirdest Nintendo Switch accessories I could find, and in this video, we're gonna unbox them, test them out, see if they're any good, and by the way, I heard some of them might work on the PS5. But guys, here they are. These are most of the accessories I purchased, and we'll actually get into some other surprises later in the video, but these are all from Hyperkin. They make some pretty weird and interesting stuff, and man, look, we have a couple Tetris controllers, we have a hot dog controller, we have a Sriracha controller, and oh yeah, controller, and let's just uh, start diving into them and see what we got. I also want to mention that FlexiSpot is sponsoring today's video, and we'll get into them a bit later, but let's go ahead and start with the star of the show, which is the Oscar Mayer hot dog controller here, and as you can see right off the bat, it's for the Nintendo Switch, PC, Mac, Android, and yeah, this thing is just a... Uh, ridiculous i don't know how else to describe it but it's, it's awesome at the same time like i just i can't believe they got a partnership with oscar meyer to do this we also have oh wait, hold on they have a craft mac and cheese controller and a heinz dude I, I did not see those but i gotta i gotta pick those up that's just like dude hot dog and mac and cheese that's legendary but let's go ahead and open this controller up and see what's on the inside uh opening this up we got a a bun fact nice the oscar meyer wiener mobile was first created in 1936 and uh wieners you can taste your victory oscar meyer plus Hyperkin, that's, dude, this is just like a legendary collaboration here. And of course it looks like a Super Nintendo controller and it's about the same size as well. Well, this thing is actually tiny, I'm not gonna lie. Now, first thing that's actually really cool is they include these little thumbstick holders here so you don't, um, you know, it doesn't get like moved around in transit. And right off the bat, ooh, those analog sticks are actually, oh, those are nice. D-pad, ooh, okay, D-pad is nice and clicky, very directional, not mushy in the least bit. Got our start, select. Y, X, A, and B, and all those feel really nice. And then we have uh, our lightning button down there. I'm not sure what that's for. We have a hyperkin button, which just appears to be like a home button. Um, also, of course, you can just see, haven't mentioned it yet, but it looks like a hot dog. I mean, you got your hot dog there with the mustard. Also got your bun. And then of course here on the top, you also have L1, R1, L2, R2, which all feel nice and clicky. And we have a switch right here that says BT and SW. So I'm assuming that's Bluetooth and switch. I don't know what that means. Um, also have a USB-C connector right there. Man, I, I should mention this thing has a translucent back, which is awesome. Like I, I'm a sucker for a translucent case. You can see all the PCBs, you can see the cool supports, you can see the screws. I, I just love it. And man, this, this controller is actually awesome. Let's put that to the side and actually, hold on. I have a little comparison first. Now you guys know I gotta do an authentic wiener comparison right here. As you can see, slap it down on the table. Yeah, right off the bat, it's pretty authentic. I mean, it's about the same size as the controller. And guys, let me just uh, tell you, these are authentic Oscar Mayer Wieners, classic, 100% tasty. So you know it's straight from the source. I'm not trying to pull any tomfoolery here. Oh yeah, it smells like a hot dog. <laughs> Got juice all over my table. Put that to the side. And let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the next controller. Now next up we have another really cool collaboration which is the Sriracha controller. And you can see we have the two roosters on the front, green analog sticks, Sriracha branding. Now flip it to the back of the box here, you can see a little bit more detail of the controller. And they actually have a Retro Pepper collection as well. Oh man, how did I miss out on all these other cool controllers? I, maybe these haven't come out yet because I did not see these on the website. But let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what it looks like. Now this one was also $40 and I'm pretty excited to see if we have a fun fact. Here we get uh, Sriracha Hot Chili Sauce. My American dream was never to become a billionaire. We started this because we like fresh spicy chili sauce. All right, I'll take it. Fuel your hot, fuel your hot streak. Everything here just... Just nice, the chef's touch. And dude, right off the bat, I love the color combination here. We got the, the full red, like I showed you, the two roosters. We also have the green analog sticks, which just provide a nice contrast. Big fan of that. You got the nice red translucent here on the back. Oh, baby. Next up, we have a nice little comparison here, though. I got a bottle of sriracha ketchup. I couldn't find the sriracha sauce because apparently it's just sold out everywhere. But you can see, again, very authentic. It's about the same size, maybe a little bit longer, uh, but it's... Hold on, is this like the exact same color green? Dude, that's, yeah, man, that's like right on the money. Maybe a little bit different, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just find that so cool to see. Let me just try out, let's see if, if it's authentic. Let me check the color of this ketchup next to this Roche controller. All right, let's get a little streak right here. I mean, it just looks like ketchup. I mean, the color is pretty close, but yeah, we'll make a full on Sriracha wiener dog later, but let's go ahead and <laughs> Move on to our next controller. Now you guys might be wondering, am I standing or sitting behind this desk when I film? Well, the answer is I sit on this bar stool, which is honestly not that comfortable, but I actually prefer it when I'm filming. Now when I'm sitting at my desk doing behind the scenes work or gaming, that's a different story. And that's why I'm using the FlexiSpot C7 ergonomic office chair. And I wanna thank FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video. Now we all know about FlexiSpot standing desks, which are awesome, of course. I mean, this right here is a FlexiSpot desk and I have four others that we use here in my office, but the chair is a product I wasn't familiar with until I started using it recently. And let me tell you, it's a huge improvement over the small and cheap $50 office chair that I've been using for the last five years. 
Now, my favorite aspect of this chair is the self-adaptive back support here. When you first see it, it looks ridiculous, but the mesh portion forms perfectly to your back and provides tons of lower back support. And dude, this chair has pretty much every adjustment you can think of. You can adjust the back support, you can adjust the headrest, you can move the armrest up and down and all over, you can recline, which I 100% require in any chair I use, and a really underrated feature is being able to adjust the seat depth. Now, will this chair fit you? Well, it supports up to 300 pounds and is designed for all heights from 5'4 to 6'2, so if you're in that range, you're good to go. And I've got to say, most office chairs I've used in the past make my butt hurt after sitting all day, but I've been sitting in the C7 chair for almost eight hours a day and haven't had any pain at all. So if you guys are looking for a new office chair, look no further and get the FlexiSpot C7. You can use the promo code on the screen for a discount, and guys, FlexiSpot offers free returns for 30 days and a 10-year warranty, so there's literally no reason to not give them a try. Now, our next collaboration is between uh, Kool-Aid and Hyperkin. This one's actually design-wise might be the coolest one, just purely from all the, the cool colors. You got the fruit all over the place, but let's uh, open it up and see what's on the inside. Oh yeah, dude, <laughs> that's awesome. Taste your victory. That, that is, oh, it's so fitting. Um, dude, oh, dude, you open it up and it's like busting through the paper. Oh, this is, you guys know what I'm saying. This, that's awesome. All right, same thing down there, put that to the side. Again, got a nice little analog stick holders there. And right off the bat, it feels exactly the same, same analog sticks and everything. But we got our, our black analog sticks. We've got these, this nice free background. Uh, you know, you got the cherries, the grapes, the, the orange, the lime. And dude, this one is all, oh, even got the, the red and blue on top. I even have a, I have another comparison here. We've got a couple Kool-Aid packets. By the way, these things go for like 42 cents. I haven't had Kool-Aid in decades, but you can see the blue. Oh yeah, that's pretty close, pretty authentic here. We got the red, which I'd say is close, but a bit off. It, it is translucent, so it's not gonna be the exact same red, but let's go ahead and get a little sample here, maybe pour a little bit out and see what it looks like. Okay, I did not realize that the Kool-Aid beads here are not even like red. They're just like a dark brownish, reddish, purple kind of thing. Uh, let me try the blue one. Actually, that, oh, that smells good. Oh yeah, that smells good. And this one is blue raspberry lemonade. Very, oh, I got, got like smoke flying up, which is not surprising. Okay, that one's a bit closer to blue, more like white, but it smells pretty good as well. I'll do a little mixy mix right here. and I don't know what I'm doing now, but uh, that's, I don't know, another cool collaboration. Now, next up, I have two Tetris controllers, and although these are very cool, I probably won't open them up because they just like honestly are not as cool as these three right here. I'll leave links down below. We'll put those to the side. And our, uh, our last accessory here that we have on the table is the, <laughs> the Ostermeyer limited edition case for the Switch, which might be the coolest of all. Now, unfortunately, this box is a bit beat up. Uh, not quite as durable as I say as the other boxes, but <laughs> here's our case. And oh my goodness, this is this is actually awesome. It's got like a little bit of a, a 3D effect to the mustard there on the top. Of course, you got a hot dog. Let me get your uh, real hot dog for size comparison. This one is, you know, the, the real hot dog is actually a lot smaller than this case, obviously, because the switch is pretty large. And uh, it's a nice, like, hard case, but it's not like too hard. It's kind of soft as well. Got a little little strap right there so you can carry it around. Got your Oscar Mayer theme on here on the side. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's on the inside. Okay, yeah, it looks pretty normal here. We got uh, spots for eight games. We've got, oh, it's got a little adapter. So I think I think you can use a Switch OLED, a regular Switch or a Switch Lite, which I guess is what this adapter is here for. We'll test that out in a second. I also have a little pocket up here and it's also got the classic like brand new Nintendo Switch case smell. Let's pull a Switch out and test it out. We'll start with the Switch Lite and see if that fits in this little adapter piece here, which by the way is like a piece of foam. Yeah, I don't I don't know about that. So it doesn't really fit that well. Like it, it slides in the case right there, but it's it's poking up a lot on that side because the, the analog stick, you know, on a switch light just kind of pokes back and there's not like a there's no uh there's no valley or anything back here to carve that piece out. So it kind of just juts up like that. You gotta fold this over it which bends around it so it, it works but it's honestly not as secure as i would think it would be i mean like it works fine but honestly i would really prefer to have a little cutout back there to, to protect your analog sticks so i don't know this is a this is a cool case uh, the collaboration is awesome it is 20 bucks but uh there's there's definitely better cases out there now next up i want to test these out but i first wanted to give you an authentic comparison of the uh, sriracha hot dog and some <laughs> red water wow that looks very red and <laughs> kind of squared all over the place with this ketchup because it just came out like crazy. But there we go, hot dog controller. Imagine playing a controller or playing a game with a controller like this, like got your A, B and buttons that, what am I doing? So I have my OLED switch plugged in and we're gonna test out the hot dog controller here and see how it works. Okay, there it goes. So for whatever reason, I couldn't get it to connect, connect wired. I even <laughs> read the manual here and that didn't work. But uh, wirelessly, I basically just went to switch over here, held down the pair button for three seconds this lit up and then went to the change grip or controller or whatever on the switch and it just automatically uh, paired. All right, let's go ahead and boot up 
Uh, Super Mario Wonder, I feel like that's probably a good game to test for this controller. It's kind of what this kind of controller is meant for. So let's test it out, see how it runs. All right, guys, so I played through one course. I'm on my second course now, and I got to say my first impressions, like, I really like this controller. I think it fits perfectly with a game like Super Mario Wonder where you're really meant to use the D-pad. I mean, like I showed you earlier, this D-pad is super clicky, not mushy in the least bit. Uh, honestly, one of the best D-pads I've felt in quite a while. Uh, all the buttons are very clicky as well, so if you like that, I think you'll like this controller. Um, and analog sticks, I got to say, these things are silky smooth, feel very nice. Uh, main issue is that they're kind of close on the inside, so it's kind of a little bit awkward to hold. So I wouldn't say this is the best for a, a game where you're going to be using analog sticks a ton. But other than that, I really have no complaints about this controller other than the fact that it's a Super Nintendo sized controller. So if you're looking for a big controller, this is not it. Now next up, I want to compare the Hot Dog to an OEM Super Nintendo Classic controller. And just picking this controller up for the first time in a few weeks, it, you kind of remember like, oh yeah, this is why people like this controller so much. Because it's just the Super Nintendo controller is such a, a good controller. And I will say it's, it's firm, has a short travel distance, but it's not, honestly, I'd like it to be a little bit more clicky. I will say the Hyper controller is like a bit too clicky. So like, in my opinion, I call the Super Nintendo controller like a a 9 out of 10. Hyper game like a 7 out of 10 and I feel like if they kind of morphed together and you made this controller about the same but a tad more clicky I would call it like a 10 out of 10. I, I don't know. You know just my opinion that's what I'm thinking you might think differently but uh, for $40 here I think that's where you're gonna have an issue is you know it's more of like a $30 quality controller with $10 extra added on because of the the branding being a hot dog. Now I will say I, this didn't officially support the PS5 but I think there's a way we can use this on the PS5. Let me go ahead and just give that a go and we'll see if we can get it to work. Yeah there we go. All right I got my <laughs> got my controller connected to my PS5 via remote play so you can play uh, <laughs> you can use your hot dog controller on your PS5, you just got to do remote play. And by the way, if you actually want to do this, you have to apparently connect your remote play first and then connect your controller to your phone. Otherwise, it just like fails. I tried it multiple times and that's what kept happening to me. What? Oh, I could use the screen for the touchpad and then I use this for <laughs> the rest of it. I mean, it works pretty well. It's not the best, uh, but you can use your hot dog on your PS5. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below what you think about these controllers. And remember, I have a link and a coupon code down below for FlexiSpot. So go check them out. They got great chairs, great desks, um, a lot of great accessories. So go check them out. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.